just sat down in this seat. <laughs> I'm Kate Frida, and I'm the assistant curator for performing arts and literary archives here at the University Libraries. You're holding books. I have books. I have great books. You have great books. Show me the one on the top. All right. So, um, two great books for the holiday season. Uh, this one is A Year in the Wilderness, uh, Bearing Witness in the Boundary Waters, which is written by Amy and Dave Freeman, a husband and wife team who are environmental advocates. I heard about this book! Professional adventurers. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So basically, um, they spent a year in the Boundary Waters just living in the now, wilderness. Now, for those of us who are not from here, the <laughs> here's the state of Minnesota. I'm assuming the Boundary Waters are north. Very north. And it's water, a lot of water. Wilderness, pristine, um, has been protected, but mm -hmm. a couple of years ago there was a threat to um, some copper, copper sulfide mining near oh. the area, which would have potentially damaged this beautiful, mm -hmm. pristine wilderness. So Amy and Dave, they basically, um, their mission was to spend a year documenting ah. life in the Boundary Waters to... Um, milkweed editions. Milkweed editions, you can... So you may notice it is beautifully illustrated. Yeah. So they're all go. photos from their, their year, and it's divided by season, so um, what it was like living in the wild, winter, spring, summer, fall. And how did they cross the Boundary Waters? They had dogs. <laughs> there you go. I saw that picture. That's how I knew. That was a setup. So this is a fascinating adventure for people to read, even if they're not from around here, if you're right. interested in the environment. Environment. Natural history. Living off the land. Photography. Wow. Look at that. Those it's are the beautiful. doggies. And in your lap? In my lap, another great book that came out a couple months ago, uh, Complicated Fun by Sim Collins, who is a local DJ, music historian, Wonder Woman. Um, and it's uh, basically an oral history of punk rock in the Twin Cities from 1974 to 1984. Okay. I don't know anything about punk rock in the Twin Cities. What would be a band that would be a punk rock band? Yeah, so um, Husker Du and The Replacements are two bands that most people know. Oh, yeah. Um, but a lot of other local bands um, are documented in here, too. And uh, the cool thing about this book, or that I really like, mm -hmm. is that um, it's not just like a straightforward history. Um, Sim Collins, the author, she collects stories from different people who are around during the time, some who were... Uh, record salesmen who are performers, oh. artists themselves, and so it's like an oral history. And um, there are even quotes from our very own communications director, Mark Engelbretson, in this book. So Why would he be quoted in that book? Oh, he sings, sings. He sings oh. in bands. He's in a band. What's the name of his band? One of the bands he's sung in is Go Van Go, which, like Van Go, yeah, yeah. I feel it's funny. awesome, clever. Yeah. But a lot of other great stories in here, too. Um, and I think it's really cool because um, St. Collins, she kind of like, it's from 74 to 84, which might seem like kind of random dates, mm -hmm. but she sort of charts the history of punk from uh, performance of the New York Dolls at the State Fair in 1974 to basically Purple Rain wow. in 1984. So there's a kind of bookends there. Well, thank you. And this is the perfect book for the music lover in your life, someone yes. who is from the Twin Cities, the Twin someone Cities. who maybe is a transplant Transplants. somewhere else and All wants to remember the good old days. All the secret punks in your life. And yeah. we, I just have to shameless plug, this is really cool. This book mm -hmm. right here, this copy, was given to the Performing Arts Archives, uh -huh. so the Minnesota Underground music collection that we have. Bison oh. Collins, so our copy is signed. So, wait, now you have to tell me about the Minnesota Underground Music Collection. Yeah, yeah. So, um, it's a collection for um, music recordings and posters and ticket stubs and uh, set lists and flyers and all the sort of trappings that have come out of the punk music scene from, like, the 50s mm -hmm. to, um, you know, to present. And we're still actively collecting, so... So it's the Any underground. Of you out there who have some of the stuff. Oh. You should yeah. get in touch with me. So that's how we get stuff is we beg for <laughs> it. So if you're moving or you want to clean out the kids' room, put it in a box, give us a call, send an email, and we'll come take a look at it and see if it fits in with our scope of the collection. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you.